Hey, it's time to go hike again. This video, you guys, is for beginners. So if you're not a beginner, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and you're excused, you can go. But for the rest of y'all, this video, well, let's just start this way. The number one beginner mistake is packing too much stuff. And it's totally understandable because when you've never been backpacking before, you don't know what to expect. So you kind of pack for everything. And this video is going to show you what to expect. So we're just going to take you along on a backpacking trip, show you what happens. And the point I'm trying to drive home is that it's not some kind of crazy survival expedition. It's just like Texas Psychoholics says, walking in the woods. And that's really all it is. You go hiking and the only difference is you have all your camping gear on the back and you paid a whole lot more for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the trail is right back there, so let's get going. All right, it starts with walking. So once you've selected camp, uh, you want to look for a place that to put your tent where it's not in a low area. So for in case there's any rain, you don't want to wake up in the morning and, or in the middle of the night and find that your tent is sitting in a puddle. So the other thing that's important to do is look up and make sure there's no dead branches up there. And we call those widow makers because if they fall on you in the middle of the night in a heavy wind, <clears throat> your spouse is a widow. There's a lot of things you'll see people bring and that they're used to having when they car camp and it's it's not necessary out here. If I've heard of people bringing machetes so they can use it as a trowel and a fireplace poker. Uh, you're always able to find something. You don't need a saw. You can just break wood into pieces and usually find pieces small enough that you can put them in the fire. Didn't you bring a hammer? No, I don't bring a hammer. Why wouldn't you bring a hammer? How are you going to put your stakes in? Because I got a foot, and if I don't have a foot, I got a rock. I'm going to start working on getting my tent set up. All right, now that I've got my tent out, I've got my sleeping pad inflated, I've got my uh, blanket. I'm using a, blank, a down blanket this time because it's just so hot <laughs> this trip. Our next order of business is to go get water. And I'm just gonna filter it out of that creek right back there. And I usually will filter enough for what I'm gonna need at camp tonight and what I'll need for hiking tomorrow so that I don't have to do it again in the morning. Your next order of business is gonna be to hang your bear line. And we do this now because you don't wanna have your dinner eaten and it's starting to get dark and you're running around trying to find the perfect branch to throw a rock over and hang your line. It's already done when you're at the end of the night. You just walk over, hook up your bag, draw it up to the limb. Now, when I said the perfect limb, the reason I said that is because you're looking for a limb that's high enough off the ground that a bear can't get to it, but you also want to be able to drop it down quite a ways so that any raccoons or squirrels or rodents or anything up on the limb can't reach down and grab the bag. So, and you also want it far enough away from the trunk of the tree that you don't have critters getting to it that way. You just about got all your camp chores done now. The last little bit to do is go gather your firewood. All right, now that I'm done with all my stuff, I'm gonna sit down, kick back, relax, probably have a little glass of wine and just relax and enjoy this beautiful place with my friends. You know the, the bottle caps you put on your Dr. Pepper, we made? Yeah. Good morning. I tried a face mask when sleeping and it worked great. I slept fantastic. So I tried out some new gear last night and I got a blanket. It's from Get Out Gear. I was so excited about trying my new piece of gear that I didn't follow my rule of packing for 10 degrees below the forecasted temperature. And guess what? It dipped down to 10 degrees below the forecasted temperature. Yep. 
I had a chilly night, I ended up putting on all the clothes that I had with me to be able to stay warm enough. It was down to 49 degrees here in my tent. And I know because I have this spiffy little temperature thing that I keep on me and it's 54 degrees now. So. Little trick that I do, I got this little teeny tiny OPS OP sack. It's an odor proof bag and I keep all my medications and my coffee, tea, anything that I might want while I'm in my tent, I keep this with my tent. So that way when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to get up and go get my bear bag, which is hung way over there. So I just stay in my tent, do all my stuff, and then um, after I've got my tent down, I'll walk over and pull my bear bag down. So it tends to be pretty quick as long as I don't fiddle fart around eating and drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> which I did this morning, but we're not in a big hurry to get around this morning. We have a pretty light day today. So, alrighty guys, we'll see you on the trail. I like Sundays Ain't it true Sundays And that's what I mean Well, having it my way It's me and you But my Okay, so we had a really rainy day of hiking and I just thought it'd be cool to bring it up because that's another thing that you can run into while you're out on the trail. And, and it's okay, I mean, you just have to understand that things are gonna be muddy, things are gonna be wet. With backpacking, you're already gonna be a little bit uncomfortable, but you're gonna be a little bit more, a bit more <laughs> uncomfortable once your everything's wet. But, I mean, it's okay. People have stuff drying over here on top of their tents. You can, people are hammocking, they'll probably it that way <laughs> they'll probably let you put stuff up on their lines just make sure if you're going to be hiking in the rain that you're very careful to really protect your gear um, use trash compactor bags to line the inside of your pack and then you're going to have a really memorable trip and some of the most memorable trips that i have ever been on have been ones when we've been hiking in the rain so we're going to just hang out chill by the fire and then once it starts getting dark we're pretty tired, so we're probably just going to crawl in our tents and go to bed. So, good night. Hey, no cussing on YouTube. Okay, can you bleep that out? Nope. It's unbleepable. So, I got my shoe stuck. <laughs> you want to come see? So, I stepped between a rock and my shoe's totally stuck in there. <laughs> I had to step out of it just so I can retrieve the thing. <laughs> wow, you did it right. I got my shoe back.